What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Legendary J Miz, and we are back right here, baby. Week 8 of the Mississippi Bulldogs Dynasty over here on College Football Revamp. Yes, sir. We got conference play against Texas A&M Aggies, man. We got a nice little good one for you today. Like I said, man, we're going up against a very solid team right here. Not off to a good start. 3-3 three and three in their own 3 in conference play to begin it. But let's see if they can turn it around on us today and give us some good competition. Before we get into the, more into the video, man, if you guys could go ahead and check out my uh, Twitch account. I'll put it right here. Link at the top of the top of the description. I'm streaming a whole lot of college football revamp, maybe some college hoops, NBA 2K, some other things like that. So if you want more content, more live, more interaction, go ahead and check that out. It's much appreciated. Drop a follow while you're there. And over here, if you could go ahead, drop a like, hit that subscribe button for more college football revamped. It is greatly appreciated. Round up top 25 right now, Oregon, Oregon State, 24 and 25. We're still doing our thing, ranked number two in the nation. Jaquavius Marks moves back up into the top contention after his great week last week in our 42 to 3 blowout of Missouri. Uh, 194 yards and three titties on the day. So he did his thing in that one. And we're going to move on to season stats so far this uh, season, obviously. 1,300 passing yards for Will Rogers, 10, pick, 10 touchdowns, 8 picks. None too crazy. Definitely want to see the picks come down, but we're taking a lot more risk with uh, Jade and Wally downfield, and it's been paying off, so it's kind of give and take with it, going a little gunslinger with it. Obviously, Jaquavius Marks having a Heisman type of season so far, so hopefully he could keep it up. Jade and Wally is too, is balling out near the top of the top of the nation and receiving 783 yards six titties as well and no everyone else is kind of middle of the pack not really doing much i want to get makai poke the ball more the dietrich's really not getting open too often downfield so we want to see him improve on that as well and folks have been all right we need to hit our tight end a little bit more but other than that i'm fine with what we got as long as our uh, receivers are eating at least uh, as long as our passing game is going good, I'm fine with it, which it obviously is with uh, Jaquavius. But yeah, like I said, Ladetra can't really been doing much. I was thinking about putting Makai back at the uh, out wide, but Ladetra got that speed, man. So if he could just beat a few more presses, man, that's definitely the way to go. Obviously, O-line ain't been great. It's kind of all over. Everyone's kind of giving up sacks. So definitely want to see that get improved, especially off the play action. Defensively, Emmanuel Forbes leading the team in tackles with Sean Preston, Nathaniel Watson, and John Lewis behind him and Jaden Crumbity. Uh, tackles for loss-wise, we got Jaden Crumbity leading the pack, but the sacks aren't quite there like last year. So hopefully he can have a few big games and get back on top of that. But he's, he's uh, second in the team in sacks. Demonte Russell really stepping it up before. That's very useful, obviously. And like I said, Crumbity went crazy last year. It's just a big drop-off from 12 to 3 sacks. So... He still got some games ahead of him, but definitely want to see the production step it up as we continue this season. Pick wise, Martin Emerson, De, uh, DeCameron Richardson, both with three, and Emmanuel Forbes with one. Once again, still want to see more picks, five deflections for DeCameron. He's had a lot of opportunities that he's missed, so we want to see that improve. Brandon Ruiz, only missed field goal, has been on a long distance one that he just came up short on. Other than that, we're balling out, doing our thing. Uh, is a team uh, le nation leaders right here. Uh, Jaquavius Marks fourth in rushing at the moment. Jaden Wally third in receiving. And then I believe tackle wise, uh, I was like, I thought we were leading. Second is Preston. Fourth is Forbes, both at 29. And then longest, oh no, sacks next. We're not near the top here. Six and a half. We're right there though. We're not, not too far behind. Just a couple big games ought to do it. And then what's next? This one's going to be interceptions, which I believe maybe top 25 in, if I remember correctly. Top 10. Martin Emerson with three. That means the Cameron Richardson right behind him. And then Brandon Ruiz with a 54-yarder, longest field goal in the nation so far. So that's good to see. Here we are looking at the conference standings right here before we get into the game. Two, Number two, Alabama. Number three, Mississippi State. My fault. We're number three still. Um, but... We're looking pretty good, man. We got a ball out right here and see if we can keep it going. It's looking like it's going to come down to the matchup between Alabama. I did figure out how to do the college football playoff for this season, so be looking forward for that once bowl season gets here. But let's get into it, man. Mississippi State Bulldog, we are at home. Game is underway. Deep one right here. Delane, he's going to go ahead and take a knee in the end zone for the touchback. And let's get into it. A&M taking the field first. Got a strong eye formation right here. Play action for King. Demonte Russell all over him, and that's a sack right there. Number five on the season for my boy, Junior. 
coming off the bench from last season came in and put in some good production we skip ahead here on the third and 14 same uh beginning of the drive right here play action again for king crumbity bringing the pressure forcing the check down to right and he's gonna have to run out of bounds for only a gain of four three and out goes a and m love to see it Jaquavius Marks, a Heisman candidate, obviously our impact player, 109, almost 200 yards rushing last week with three titties as well. So let's see if we can keep Jaquavius cooking into this week right here. Nice little handoff to him on the second eight, and he takes a shot right there from the linebacker of AM. Love to see that right there. Actually, don't love to see it, but he took the shot nice and easy. So here we are on a third and six, right? Roger stepping back over the middle hits Makai Polk. That's what we want to see. Definitely want to get him the ball more. Nice 21 yard gain from him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that route. Beautiful find. Beautiful throw over the linebacker as well. Perfect spot. Perfect spot. Love to see that. So, got a nice early drive going. Cooking. We're right here. 25 just outside the red zone. Second and seven right here. Rodgers. Going to hit the beautiful curl round. The Dietrich. And, ooh, what a move. And he's going to take it all the way right there. House call. The Dietrich Griffin with the 26-yard touchdown. Mississippi State. Yes, sir. There we go, baby. Beautiful move off the curl route as well. Rodgers finding him. Too easy right there. And then look at this spin move right here. Ooh, got him. Got him. Then nice little dive to finish it off. Love to see it. Mississippi State taking an early 7-0 lead. Texas a and with the ball back right here. Nice little handoff to Isaiah Spiller. Breaks one, but can't quite break the second. But he does pick up the first down. A little questionable spot right there. But we'll go ahead and rock with it. We'll rock with it. Here we're on a first and 10. We'll bring in the house right here. King under pressure, throwing out wide. Chapman's going to catch that. Cameron Richardson got burnt, missing the tackle as well. Back-to-back -back mistakes, and he's going to take this one all the way. Just like that, AM responds, and we got ourselves a tie game. They countered the blitz beautifully right there. Hit the out route, absolutely routed to Cameron right there. I don't know where he was going. He just kept backpedaling, thinking he was running a streak or something. Got him with the corner route, missing the tackles as well. Poor fundamentals right there, and that's a house call for AM. Just like that, it's tied up. Mississippi State back on the field. This time, not so great field position. Here we pick it up here on the third and four. Look at the play from Jaden Wally right there. One-handed snag. You love to see it. I don't know if that should have been caught. Corner kind of misread that one, but we'll take it anyway. First and ten right here. Jaquavius Marks. Oh, the gap was right there. but couldn't quite hit it quick enough. Four-yard gain. Skip ahead in the drive. We're already on a and m side of the field. Play action for Rodgers. Pressure underway. Oh, that should have been a pick. Missed the corner route early. Went to it late. Defender jumped it. That should have been a pick right in his hands. Third and four, though. Right here, Rodgers faking it. Linebacker all over that one. That one's going to be a loss of one right there for Rodgers. We have to settle for three on that one. 50-yarder. That gets boomed on. Yes, sir. Isaiah Spiller right here. Oh, my goodness. What a bop right there. Making our defenders look absolutely silly right there. We got a third and six though right here. Let's see if we could stop him here. King stepping back, surveying the field. Pressure on him early and down he goes. Nathan Pickering all over that one. Love to see it from your defensive tackle. We swap sides now. Rodgers with the ball, stepping back. Pressure on him early and he's going to get sacked right there. Loss of 11 right there. You can't be having that. 35 seconds left to go here in the first. Rodgers stepping back. Pressure on him early again and then just misses a wide open Leditri Griffin. Third and 21, we end up having to punt it back. They get a good return. AM's driving. Second and six right here on our side of the field. Spiller finding a hole and breaking a couple tackles. Picking up a first on an 11 yard gain. He's killing us right now. He's killing us. I ain't gonna lie. But here we go. We're in the second quarter now. King stepping back. Gonna run for it right here. John Lewis coming in. Misses the tackle. Duncan lands a good one on him, but he gets down to about the two yard line right there after a 14 yard gain. Haynes King got him going right here. Third and goal, though. Defense has done well. Holding him the first two. Can they get one more? No. Chapman, once again, wide open right there for a touchdown for AM. Found the soft spot in the zone. Sat down and a good find by King right there. So, just like that, AM got the lead on us, man. They weren't no joke. They still got be uh, technically better talent, but they're not playing as well as us. But let's see if we can keep it going here. Rodgers right here. We're going deep. Laditra Griffin wide open. He's going to drop the ball. Oh. You can't be missing those, dog. Like, come on. That's butt booty naked right there, and he just missed it. So right here, 3rd and 10, Rodgers making a play with his feet. He's going to pick up the first and get out of bounds. Nice 13-yard gain for him. All those deep plays hurt, man, because we don't I want to see more of them, especially Griffin ain't got a lot of opportunities for him. So is what it is right here. Rodgers going to throw a strike to Makai, but can't quite get it over, and that's going to get picked off right there. 
somehow the defender dives in and is able to get that Richardson, Damani, not the Cameron, Damani on the other team, strong safety. Look at the effort, beautiful dive. Look like it hit the ground, we challenge it, it doesn't happen, he got his hands under it, so is what it is. We pick it up though, they don't do anything with it, so they go three and out, we get the ball back, Jaquavius Marks, there we go, nice 12 yard gain out of him, 5 for 23 on the day, just under 5 a pop. Still doing his thing, but they're doing a decent job of containing it right here. Jaquavius finding a nice hole right there. Beautiful weaving, beautiful blocking, nice 17-yard gain. He's finally getting into a groove right here. Let's see if we keep feeding the beast right here. Look at the blocking right here. Cut it in, cut it back out with the big block right there from 57. You love to see it. Three and a half left to go here in the second. Rodgers play action. Good enough blocking. Nope. Pressure on us. Quickly. Quickly right there. Too long of a play to develop right there for our O-line. So second and 22 right here. Rodgers stepping back. Makai wide open. He's going to throw a strike and hit him. Here we go with the 30, the 20. Can't quite break that last tackle, but a big 50-yard gain right there for Makai Polk. Two big plays for him already in this game. You love to see it. Like I said, man, we're trying to get him the ball a little more. Same with LaDietrich. And that's how you do it right there. Nice big play right down the seam right there. Love to see it. Love to see it. Second and 10 right here. Let's get Jaquavius back the ball, man. Hand off to him. Finds the hole, bursts right through it, and going to get a solid gain right there. Getting us to about the 6-yard line on a 16-yard gain. First and goal right here. Feed him again. That's going to be a nice titty right there. He jumps in to get it. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Yes, sir. His ninth on the season right there. Love to see it. Love to see it. I love to see it. Do you love to see it? I love to see it. Let's go. 27 seconds left right here. A&M with the ball. It just past midfield, they got an opportunity to do something right here. Let's see what they could do. John Lewis bring the pressure, throwing the run. Oh my goodness, Chase Lane laying out, making a big play right there for AM. Getting them just inside field goal range, it seems. They're gonna try and get a little bit more. 20 seconds and counting. King throwing the beautiful comeback route to who else but Chapman yet again. Cooking us, man. Cooking us. 16 seconds, clock stops on that play. King trying to draw us off sides, bringing the pressure, and he's going to scramble. No one's there to contain him. Down he goes, Aaron Brule with the tackle. 16 seconds on the clock, though. Nine seconds left to go in the half. They use a timeout. They only got one left right here. Or, no, they go no huddle, no huddle, but still one timeout left. Five seconds. King stepping back. Got to make a play right here. Throwing it up. Chapman once again. Three touchdowns on the day for him. He is going absolutely insane. 12 of 15 is Haynes King. And just like that, AM takes the lead. 21-17 going into the half. We are on upset alert, baby. We are on upset alert. And we're going to pick it up here in the second half. Let's see what we can do. We got to respond. We got the ball. They're pressing us early, though. Right here, Rodgers. Got to make a play. Throwing the strike to LaDietrich. And this time, he hangs on to it. 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown. First play out of the half. We're going deep to LaDietrich. And he takes it to the house. Yes, sir. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's go. Come on, man. Come on. Finally, he being that press. Double coverage as well. It don't matter. House call, baby. Love to see it. Love to see it. Just like that, we got the lead right back. A&M on their first possession of uh, the second half right here. Sending tight end in motion. King going to hit the check down. Ooh, could have been a pick. Could have been a pick. But couldn't quite get there, John Lewis, unfortunately. But he does wrap up the tackle. Here we're on the third and 16, bringing some pressure. It seems a little questionable, right? Here we switch it last second to cover three. King and throw to the check down to Preston. A beautiful pop out right there from Aaron Brule. Wrapping him up, punching the ball out. You love to see that right there. 24-21, we're out here on the third and inches right here. Rodgers making adjustments at the line like he does. Third and inches, no safety help over the top, it seems. This is the safety bluffing? We don't know. And here he comes. Pressure's coming. Rodgers is throwing one up to Jaden Wally. Go make a play, and he gets a foot down right there down the sideline. Love to see it. Wish he could hit him in stride. But look at the press. Excellent press right there from the corner. Not too bad at coverage, but this is one hell of a throw right there. From Will Rogers with the pressure in his face. You love to see it right there. Second and five. We're going triple option. Pitch it out to Jaquavis. And that's as easy as it gets right there. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Yes, sir. Just like that. We're back up 10. Like that. Only two and a half minutes into the third quarter right here. But here comes AM again. Chapman absolutely cooking a six for 119 and three titties on the day he's going absolutely insane on us second and eight right here tight end in motion for AM. strong guy play action for king rolling back out to his left and they're gonna hit the tight end right with tackle right there from the cameron and that's gonna be a big gain right there 33 for a and m 
350 left to go here in the third quarter. We're here on a third and four. AM driving in Mississippi State territory right here, man in motion. Yet again, hand off to Spiller. He's going to cut in, cut in again, and he's going to pick up some big yardage right there, dragging the pile with him. 14-yard gain. Isaiah, Isaiah Spiller, 15 for 47, I believe, right there. He's killing it so far this game, too. And just like that, touchdown, Aggies. He gets into the end zone right there. Excellent blocking for AM right there. Defense got to do a little better, man. AM making a push. Can they get it done? Look at the blocking right there. What a huge hole right there. That's ugh. Gotta do better, but here we go for kickoff. You know, you about to see something special if you see the kickoff right here. Griffin gonna take this one from the end zone. He's gonna run it out, picking up some key blocks right there, and he's gonna find a hole 50, 40 with tackle 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Yeah, sir. Come on, man. Come on. Ain't nothing to us. LaDietrich, returner of the year, making a big play right there. Shades. Of the national championship right there love to see it two minutes left to go here in the third triple option right here beautiful pitch out to preston he's gonna break a tackle and pick up about 11 on that one picking up the first down for a and m once again a whole lot of motion in this offense tight end in motion again lewis bringing the pressure oh my goodness what a play from martin emerson diving in over the shoulder and deflecting that one you love to see plays like that from your secondary here we're on a big third and four though. Can we make it the final stop? And yes, we do. Holding them just short right there. John Lewis with the wrap up. And fourth and one leads to them settling for three. So we still have seven point lead at this moment. Right here, Rogers pitching it. It gets lost. Jaquavius Marks misses the ball on the pickup. And just like that, a and picks up the ball. <laughs> oh, another turnover, man. They're going to come back and bite you in the butt eventually, man. They've gotten, we've gotten lucky so far, but you got to do better. Got to do better. Here we're on a third and seven, though. Can we make up for it? King throwing up a prayer. Emerson, pick that off. Yes, sir. And he's going to get a solid return out of this as well. The 30, the 40, he's going to take it out at Mississippi State side of the 40-yard line right there. Finally, we get a nice little pick right there from Emerson. One-on-one -on, -one on Chapman. Underthrown him. He makes the play. You love to see that right there. Excellent pressure from John Lewis to force that Hail Mary throw and it worked out in our favor so we got an opportunity right here the pick the fumble didn't cost us let's see if we get a drive going right here 728 left to go we are now in the fourth quarter Roger stepping back pressure in his face can't quite hit the check down in time he was wide open trying to go deep a little too much right there hit the check down get some yardage second 21 now seven seconds left to go in the play clock right here Rogers surveying the field trying to figure out what we're gonna be doing here we're going to hand it off to Jaquavis, and that's a huge hole right there. And he's going to barrel over a defender for a nice solid gain of 14, making it a nice third and manageable. 11 for 91 for Jaquavis and two touchdowns as well. Third and seven right here, making some adjustments at the line. Rodgers looking, throw it up, one-on-one -on -one again. Jaden Wally can't quite make that play. Norwood hangs in this time for the deflection just like that. Mississippi State has to punt the ball back. Six minutes left to go here in the fourth. Ward in motion to the left side. Weak side handoff to Spiller. One-on-one. -on -one. Shit reeks one. Crumbity comes in and cleans it up for only a gain of one right there for Isaiah Spiller. Love to see that right there. First and ten. We pick it up. They're driving. They're driving. Five minutes left to go here in the fourth. King, strong guy. Play action to Johnson. He's going to hit lane wide open right there. We're able to wrap him up after a gain of about 18 right there. You don't love to see that. You don't love to see that. And just like that, they're on the goal line. Third and goal. 3.30 left to go in the game. Big play right here. Handoff. Johnson breaks one and falls forward into the end zone. Aaron Brule hits him a little too late. And just like that, we're going to have a tie ball game. 3.25 left to go in the fourth. Plenty of time for Mississippi State to do what they do and drive down the field. But let's see what happens. Rodgers right here, stepping back. Pressure coming from the inside. He's going to scramble out to his right, trying to find something. He's going to pick up a first down with his legs and a little bit more. Picking up a nice solid gain of 16 right there. We're on the 45-yard line of a and just about to cross midfield. Second and seven right here. Rodgers stepping back. Once again, pressure coming. He's rolling out. Jaden Wally wide open, but it's underthrown. Norwood gets the pick right there and gets tackled at about the 50. That could be costly. 
Third and six, just outside field goal range. AM with the ball. King over the middle to Muhammad. Missed tackle from Aaron Brule. Colin Duncan coming in. Can't miss quite get that tackle. Emerson with the final uh, tackle right there. 24 yard gain right there for AM. And just like that, they're in field goal range in a tie game. This is not looking good. Handoff to Crown over. And he's going to pick up a gain of nine. Doesn't pick up the first down, so the clock will continue to run. We call a timeout. We pick it up here on 30 inches. We're out of timeout right here, and we're going to let them score. We didn't let them score. They could have just ran the clock out right there, even if they picked up the first. Even if we stopped them, we had to let them score. They accidentally do. They should have stopped, but we are lucky. 32 seconds, no timeouts. We got to hope for a miracle yet again, and Rogers going to get sacked on the first play. That's not what you need right there. Loss of 11. Hurry up. Tick, 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 tick. There goes the clock. Come on. You got to code, no huddle, no cuts right here. Got to call a play. We're going to go four verts right here. It's just a Hail Mary moment right here. You got to make a play. Somebody. 14 seconds and counting and 12 right here. Rogers stepping back. Pressure coming. Throw it up to Jaden Wally one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to make a play with tackle right there. He's going to get out of bounds at about the 40 with five seconds left to go in the game. Jaden Wally doing it when it matters most. You know he, you're trying to find him right there and he just makes a play right there. Misses the tackle too. What great awareness. But we got five seconds left right here. Got to make a play. Got to get in the end zone right here. We make an adjustment. and then pressing for some reason. We do not know why. Here we go. Rodgers making his final adjustment. Seven seconds on the play clock right here. Send everybody deep. Hope for a miracle. Rodgers surveying. Looking. Dietrich got a step. But Jaden Wally's wide open. And we can hit him in stride. Tie game. Like that. Like that. Wally. Oh, what a celebration right there. Can't believe it. Two plays two Hail Marys to Wally and the second one was a wide open one absolutely beat the press beat his defender downfield and just like that we're going to overtime baby and we're getting the ball first high energy right here can we keep it going and get a touchdown right here put the pressure on AM. right here read the option Rogers is going to pick up about 10 just short of the first down second inches that's fine that's fine that's fine plenty of time no time on the clock actually Right here, we're going to read option again. Re uh, Rogers is going to weave his way around, pick up a few extra yards right there for a nice gain at 8. We're right here inside the 10 now. Loading up in the shotgun right here. Hand off to Jaquavius, and he's going to get stuffed right there on the third and goal. Here we are on a fourth and goal right here, and we're going to go for it. We're on the one and a half yard line right here. Read option, hand off to Jaquavius, and he's going to pick it up. Three straight runs got stuffed. The fourth one, read option, it works out. We get the touchdown. So we're up seven right here, second and five. They're going eye form with an extra tight end on the right. King stepping back right here. He's going to hit the check down right there. Beautiful collapse right there from Nathaniel Watson to hold him to no gain. Third and six right here. Shotgun formation for AM. They got the halfback on the left. Moving the tight end to the strong side. Play action for Johnson. Pressure coming, throwing a fade away, and that should have been a pick right there. You got to pick that off, Aaron Brule. Come on. Seven tackles and a pick. Should have iced it right there. Unfortunately, we got to go one more play. Fourth and six. Make a stop, and the game is over right here. King stepping back. Plenty of time. Hits the check down in Chapman, and he's get tackled immediately. And just like that, the game is over. I don't know why King went to the check down. Maybe he didn't see the defender in front of him. But mm, bad decision right there. You got to go for at least the first down right there. But the game is over. We win it. Laditra Griffin, player of the game. Three touchdowns, 131 yards, and three total touchdowns. Two passing and then the one uh, kick return. Love to see it right there. But big game from our two receivers right there. Makai Polk even was flashing early in the game. One hell of a game right there. We should not have won that game. Got good awareness to let the running back go in with 30 seconds. And, uh, you know, just give it up. You know, is what it is. But, ooh, that was a little scary. That was scary. Another, back to, another week of us getting very, very lucky. So... We'll take it. Got to clean up the turnovers, man. That last one that Rodgers threw was so off the mark. It was, a, it was running, so probably shouldn't have thrown it at all, but that one was just atrocious. That one was way off the mark. You got to do better than that. Uh, we finished looking at the stats right here. Will Rodgers, 13-27 for 358 yards. I believe that's his career high. We're going to have to double check that at some point, but he was cooking today. Too many picks, though, and the fumble, too. Not too clean. Jaquavius goes over 100 yards rushing. You'd love to see that. And then uh, 13 yards receiving as well. But Jaden Wally and Laditra Griffin are the two big winners. Makai Polk even with 70 yards on two catches. you love to see that right there. Johnson giving up two sacks at right guard. You don't like to see that, but it is what it is. Nathaniel Watson with 18 total tackles, man. 16 of them solo. Three tackles for loss. 
big game out of him. You love to see that. Colin Duncan with 10 as well with 9 solos. So, big games from those two guys right there. Tackle for loss wise. Aaron Bruin, Nathaniel Watson dominating the game. You love to see that. Three sacks as well. Demonte Russell began the game with one. Nathan Pickering and Jaden Crumity also picking some up as well. The one pick goes to Martin Emerson, man. And, whew, one hell of a game, man. One hell of a game. We get lucky, right? Again. Again, we get lucky. So, can't count on those much longer, man. If, especially if we're trying to make a deep run. But if you enjoyed the video, man, please drop a like. Hit that subscribe button for more. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace.